on a set of videos about how to use Microsoft Excel. And I will begin by looking at um, Office 365 and Excel as found in Office 365. Later, I will go on to looking at this, the standard Excel that you might have loaded as an app on your uh, computer. Okay, so first, you need to log into Office 365. And uh, when you do that, you should uh, see a screen that looks something like this. And then we want to find Excel and click on Excel. And uh, another selection comes up. And we could do a new blank workbook here. But first, in this video, I want to look at take a tour and look at some of the things that pop up in that. So we click on take a tour. Okay, so here we have Excel. Now, what this is right here, it may not actually look at it, is a, a standard Excel worksheet. And um, we want to scroll down here, as they advise us, and uh, look at some of the examples that they have in, in Excel. And uh, so, add numbers. And they give two different ways of adding numbers. Uh, the first one will follow the directions here. Select the first yellow cell, which is cell E18. Now, where are they coming up with E18? Well, here's an 18 here. You can barely see the one. It's an 18. And then E is right here. So this is E18. There, so here's E18. Okay. Now, uh, then double tap or double click to start editing. So there we are. Uh, the double tap would be if you were on, let's say, uh, a pad, an iPad. So we double click, and then they uh, tell us what to type. Type, type this thing, sum E15, E17. And you also have to remember to put in the equal sign, which I frequently forget to do. So equal, and then uh, although sum is supposed to be capitalized, actually, you don't have to capitalize it. It'll pop up and capitalize for you. We'll put E, and we'll put E15, E15, colon, E17, E17. Close uh, paren, like that, and I hit return. And, and um, it now sums these numbers telling us that the sum is 130. And typically, that's the way I do sums of columns. But they provide a keyboard shortcut here. Right here, we have um, keyboard trick. And I've actually never used this before. On some external keyboards, they say, OK, uh, press Alt equal. I'm using a Macintosh. I don't have an Alt sign. So let me try Option equal here. So here I am. I clicked on the cell, option equal, and indeed um, the sum uh, comes up, and now I'll just hit return, and it sums up. So it's alt equal or option equal, and uh, it will automatically do a sum. And uh, although they're not telling you uh, the constraints around giving that command and when it might work and when it won't work. Now let's try something a little bit different. Um, select the second yellow cell right here, E24, this one, and then double, then double tap or double click and start editing. Type equals sum E21, E23, greater than 50. Okay, so what might that be doing? It might be only summing up the terms in this column where the numbers themselves are greater than 50. Let's see what happens here. So I double click. Okay, now I type equals sum if, 
sum if E21 colon 23 E23 comma quote greater than 50 quote in paren now hit return and it only sums up the numbers that are greater than 50. There's only one, which is 100, so we get the result there. Okay, well, that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder um, how useful that's going to be. Okay, now let's look at this section right here, split cells with flash fill. Uh, flash fill can be useful. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful sometimes because sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. But, so we're looking at this section of a spreadsheet. Uh, the cells in the second column need more names after Nancy. So presumably if this is Nancy, we want Joe, Mark, Sue, Tim, Eve, and so on going down there. So select the cells E33, to E38, including the cell with Nancy. So that would be this down to this right here. Those are those cells. On the data tab, select flash fill. So I go up here, this right here, as we'll talk about uh, in the next video, this item right along here on the top is called the ribbon. And they want us to go to the data tab, which is right here. So we'll click data. And now they want us to go to flash fill, which is right here. So you see, here's flash fill right here. So select flash fill. So I do that and notice that it automatically identifies that Nancy is over here. And then it copies all the names that are to the left of this comma and puts them right in there. Hey, great, that's convenient. Okay, so it fills in the blank cells with these names that are in that first column. Okay, now the third column needs just the points from the first column. So select cells F33 through F38, including the cell with the number 500. So they want me to select these cells. And then on the data tab, select flash fill again. That's right up here. So I do that, bingo, okay, got it, got those numbers, uh, great. Now, here is something, um, now I, let me tell you, I typically, um, I've not used flash fill before either, so this is new for me. Um, it looks uh, pretty useful. Now let's look right in here, uh, filter the data to see what you want. So here we have, um, let's say these might be classes at a university. Uh, these are telling you what building the classes are in or what sub uh, or the subject is found, who knows. Uh, the number of students in each class. Okay, so let's see how we can, how we can uh, do, use this filter. Okay, so select any cell with the data. For example, select cell E54. So that would be right here, E54. On the data tab, select filter. Okay, up here, data, I'm already in the data tab. Go to filter, I do that. Uncheck the select box and check the box for A. So uncheck the select box. Now, what do they mean by this? Now let's look through, the, through this again here. Okay, I've selected this. Okay, notice cells, right? Select any cell within the data. Okay, on the data tab, select filter. I did that. Filter and sort buttons activate on the top row. 
Okay, they look like small down arrows. So let me try this again. So, ah, here, right here, this. Okay. Now, um, I want to look down here. So these are the buttons on the top. On the building cell, select filter and sort button. Building, sort, filter and sort on the building cell. So they want me to go here, not students, right here. Well, that's where I was. So sort ascending, sort descending, tech, filter, filter. Now select filter, here's filter. So let's say I'll just select A. So I'm going to select A. Okay. So then I get all the uh, all the items that only had building A. Now, so building B items are now uh, removed. Now clear the filter on the building cell. Select the filter and sort button. Now clear. So how would I do that? Go in here. Filter, sort ascending, sheet view, filter, here we go. Um, I could hit select all, okay. So this gives me everything back again. And um, now clear the filter on the building cell, select filter and sort button. Now select clear filter from the building. Um, I think that... Uh, I've done that. Filter. I could do building B here, not A, B. There, okay. And I get only the building B. And um, now using tables for list and data. Now um, let's look at this last thing right in here. Use tables for list and data. Select any cell within the data to the right. For example, select cell E70. So E70 would be right here. On the Insert tab, select Table and select OK. Insert tab. Select Use Tables. OK. Insert tab. That would be up here. Insert. OK, so on the Insert tab, I now select table, then select OK. So let's see, where is table here? Insert, insert, pivot table, tables right here. Now pivot table is something different. Table, select table, select OK. Now you have a table which is a range of cells that has special features. Two of those features include banded rows for easier reading and a filter and sort button. Okay. In cell D74 under salads, type some text, anything, and press enter. So in cell D74, which is right here, it says, uh, type something. There, I type something. What should I type? <laughs> now, <clears throat> press Enter. There. A new shaded row is created automatically. In cell G67, type total. G67. G67. Here's G. And here's 67 right here. Type total. There's total. And press enter. Enter. Notice that it automatically fills in the same formatting in the cell also. Okay, now notice a new column is created. Okay, so. Uh, that could be pretty useful to, to her, too. Now uh, we have 
uh, charts. I'm going to pass on the charts because I'm going to do that in more detail later. And uh, this will bring us to an end on this first video. So right on here, if you may be able to tell, there are actually some of these items I have uh, myself, uh, only for the first time, used some of these shortcuts. So this is our first video on, uh, uh, on uh, Excel, and uh, see you next time.